Welcome to another week vlog. Another week has gone by. More sound packs, chopping up records. So let's see what I was up to this week. I got some tips for you as well. I'm gonna talk a little bit about trimming samples and how I see samples being cut. That's it, let's listen to some beats as well. So another week has gone by and you know I've been making videos and I've been making videos for quite a long time you know and my videos are always pretty low on views. I'm not complaining or anything, everything's okay but uh, I just saw this video and it was, it had this huge thumbnail. No. I watched the video and this guy's like talking about the same things I talk about. It just makes me think that you know maybe I should sell and be selling my thumbnails a bit more you know I've always been kind of uh, more humble on my thumbnails but it makes me wonder if I should keep doing that because I saw this guy's video and it was like you know it was well over 50,000 views my video was like 2,000 views it's like oh man you know that's one of the things that I learned this week is like I may I need to start working more on my thumbnails yeah but anyway you know I got a new pack let's talk about that I got a new piano pack I told you this last week I went to a friend's house to do a recording of a piano session you know I just recorded like a bunch of chords and stuff like that I ended up chopping everything this week uh, put that onto a pack, share that onto Patreon, and I did some extra things as well with it. I just put out the chops straight away. I think that's the point of sharing chops is that you can create your own loops. Some people know how it works, others might be a bit frustrated with it. So I tend to create some loops as well. And that's what I did. I made a few loops, about eight loops that had a bass line over it as well, which is sounding really good. Only thing you need to do with that is to uh, drop a beat over it and you're pretty much done with it. But I do them mostly as an example as well so people can kind of understand how they can work with it. Also, you can get the loops that I shared onto Patreon and chop them up and rearrange them. That's another way of working as well. So in this case, I've already shared this to my patrons. And one of the things that you can do, or if you're doing this at home, if you have a sequence and you're stuck for ideas, is to get the entire loop and chop it up, rearrange it in another sequence. So that's what I'm doing here at the moment. So what I did here was to uh, just mute the tracks. I bounced this out as a sample and then I chopped it up. I now have another sequence just with muting the other tracks and leaving just the drums out. And then I can pull up the new, I can pull up the sequence already chopped up. And now just reuse this as new samples. If you're stuck for ideas and you don't know where to take your sequence, you can chop up all the samples and rearrange those. Just another extra tip. Which brings me to the topic about cutting samples. This is actually one of the things that a lot of people don't focus on, they don't realize that cutting a sample is a really important thing. There's many ways to cut a sample. If a sample is just a chord, then it's just a chord, but some other samples, they contain a lot of dynamics, they contain more than one instrument, which means 
there are different possibilities on how you're going to cut that sample. It's also about you creating your own style of cutting. So, it, you know, you can have your style of beat making where you, you use certain type of instruments. Like me, I like to use a lot of jazz stuff, but also how you cut them. And a lot of people don't know about that. They just think, you know, I'm going to get this sample and just because it's a, it's a nice saxophone is going to play out well. But if you cut a sample sometimes just a, a little bit after where you think the cut should be, that's going to sound different once you put that over a beat. These are the kind of things that you should be looking for. But this is a great topic to talk about for us producers that work with samples. A lot of these things that are kind of like in the back of music production, that really determines the skills of a producer and how good your samples are going to sound when you lay them over the beat. So I'll just give you a really small example of what I'm talking about and how you can cut a sample. Okay, so we have this loop right here. One of the ways to cut this is to divide it into 16 pads like you normally see everyone doing. So regions, 16, uh, and then you have the sample right there. Okay, so you can cut it up into 16 even bits or what you can do is, okay, so I created a program called Chops. So in this case, I would just pick out small chops, assign this to the program that I want, which is Chops. I use pad parameters and just assign it, do it. And then I would just search the entire uh, thing. So if you notice when we divided this into 16s, this is how the, the chop was divided, but I prefer to do it this way because I can find chops like this. You can warp it later on, but then you go assign and keep on searching for these transient points where you can take a cut from there. This is, this is a good starting point. Let me just, this is on zero snap. So, this is a good starting point, but this is also another good starting point. another starting point that's another starting point so you, there, there are many start points throughout an entire sample one of the things that I'll be doing next week is I'll be getting into VHS tapes again I, I've stopped that for a while it's not like a vinyl where you can pick the spot where you want to sample you have to go forwards rewind get to the spot where you want and sample it so it takes a lot of time and that's why sometimes I avoid going into it because it's just, you know, if a film is like an hour long, it will take you like two hours to listen to, through the whole thing if you want to stop and rewind and sample. Uh, but I love it, so, you know, I want to get back into it. That's one of the things I'll be doing this week. I want to sample some VHS tapes. I've got some animations in there. I've got some old films I want to sample. So hopefully this week, I'll have some samples for you guys on Patreon, some VHS samples. Truly, you are a British officer. I've dropped some bass loops in there, but I want to drop other 10 loops again and some drum loops as well, all in MIDI. Uh, that's another thing that I'll be doing throughout the week, just getting some more drum loops and some more groovy bass lines. Just, just focusing on production and, and sharing that with everyone that's supporting the channel. 
So I hope you enjoyed my programs as well. I hope you enjoyed the videos. This was my week vlog for MPC Head. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.